Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about section 3.7, the chain rule. And we want to start with problem number 29, which says, let's find dy dx for y is equal to sine of 4x cubed plus 3x plus 1. All right, so we're using the chain rule. And uh, there's some really important things that we have to remember when we use the chain rule. And the first of them is what, just what's the formula for taking deri the derivative of something using the chain rule. So if I have y equals something like f of g of x, so a function of a function, then the derivative is going to be take the derivative of f with g of x left alone, and then multiply that by the derivative of g of x. Now, this is the actual formula, but in practice, it's much easier to think of this in other terms. And the way that I like to think about it is you got to think about what's the most outside thing that's happening to this function. In other words, what's the very last thing that I would do to this thing if I were plugging it into my calculator? So, for example, let's look at this. If I were plugging in sine of 4x cubed plus 3x plus 1 into my calculator, I'd ask, what would be the last thing I would do if I were trying to calculate this? Well, I'd do all of the stuff in the parentheses first, and then the very last thing that I would do is I would sine that stuff, right? So uh, I would sign all this stuff in the middle. So sine is the most outer function. It's the outermost thing happening here. Since it's the outermost thing, I want to take the derivative of sine of something first. So that's what we mean up here when we say f prime of g of x. There's something sitting inside the sine, and I'm just going to leave it alone and just take the derivative of sine of something. Okay, so let's take that derivative. So if I start finding dy dx here, uh, then I'm going to start by, what's the derivative of sine of something? Well, the derivative of sine of something is cosine of something. So I'll write that in. This is cosine of 4x cubed plus 3x plus 1. But we're not quite done. So I took the derivative of sine of something, and I said it was cosine of that same something. But then what the chain rule says is, wait, there's one more piece to this puzzle. I need to multiply by the derivative of the thing that was inside. Or in other words, what's the derivative of the something? Okay. In this case, the something was 4x cubed plus 3x plus 1. That's the thing I just left alone when I was taking the derivative of sine. So now I need to multiply, so multiply that by the derivative of the inside stuff, or the something, if you like. So what's the derivative of this inside stuff? Well, it's 12x squared plus 3. And now we have our derivative. So remember, when we're taking the derivative using the chain rule, we have to find what's the outermost thing. Okay, what's the thing that happens last? Or what's the outside function? Once we have the outside function, then I can ask the question, okay, what's the derivative of that outside function with the inside left alone? Then once I've done that, and I have cosine of the inside function, then I multiply by the derivative of the inside function, and then I'm done. 